What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you six Warzone loadouts that I think are going to be one of the best loadouts that you can use right now. Honestly, in the state of the Warzone right now, you can really get away with running pretty much any gun. Uh, any gun that's really viable, nothing like the SCAR or the QBZ or the M60, nothing bad like those guns. Um, but you really can get away with running a lot of different guns right now. And I'm gonna be bringing you guys today six of what i believe to be some of the best loadouts that you can run to help you get a lot more kills and win a lot more gunfights if you guys enjoy the video or you find any of this information helpful go ahead and drop a like on the video doing so really helps me out a lot and i'd really appreciate it if you guys want to support the channel more you can go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications that way you get notified every time i upload a new video and let's go ahead and get into the loadout all right so i'm going ahead and start the loadout strong i think right now this is probably the best loadout in the game uh, it optimizes or utilizes the best AR and the best SMG, in my opinion. Um, so for this loadout, we run the AMAX and the Bullfrog. For the AMAX, we run the Monolithic Suppressor to go ahead and keep you off the map. It adds some bullet velocity and help with vertical recoil reduction. Uh, the XRK Zodiac Barrel, uh, for this one, it helps with your damage range, which for 7.62 guns really matters. Helps with your bullet velocity and your recoil control because this gun does have quite a bit of kick. Uh, and then we use the commando foregrip for this one. You want to use this one. I've di I've been seeing people use the ranger foregrip, but honestly, this one does not help out as much as the commando foregrip. So what the ranger does is it helps with vertical recoil control more than it does horizontal. And the commando, what this one does is helps with the horizontal recoil control more than it does the vertical. Controlling vertical recoil is really really easy. And yes, this gun does have a little bit more vertical than a lot of other guns, but you still should be using the uh, horizontal one because this one does have quite a bit of horizontal recoil and it can mess up your shot. So I just had to tell you guys about that. I've seen people run this on their gun and I really don't think it's optimal. I even picked one up one game and I felt myself missing more shots. So uh, just use the commando. Anyway, uh, 45 round mag uh, because you need it with this gun for sure. The shot, it's not as forgiving. And the VLK optic. Now, one thing that you want to do for this VLK optic, if you have it, if you don't have it, I suggest grinding for it, is using this reticle right here, T pose. This reticle helps out so much. You can honestly see more, and I feel like it's easier to line up your shots versus using this one. This one's not a bad reticle. Um, but this T pose is, is far better. So if you can, I would just grind it out. It's really easy to do. Um, especially when they get shipment. So if they ever get shipment 24 seven, again, play it and unlock T pose. Next, we're gonna get into the bullfrog. So in the bullfrog, we run the Groove suppressor. Uh, this obvious for obvious reasons helps keep you off the map, the vertical recoil control, uh, the effective damage range and the bullet velocity, which you need for SMGs. Um, then you help you have the task force barrel. This one gives you some strafe speed, which is really important on SMG. So that's why you use this one. Uh, you're going to run the 65 around it mag. You don't really don't need anything more than this. Um, you could run the speed if you want, but it's going to hurt your ADS time. So it's not really worth it. So just run the 65. It's, it's honestly the best one. Um, we run the tiger team spotlight. Now this one is kind of, um, flexible. If you don't want to run the tiger team spotlight, you could run uh, super wrap to give you some more uh, aim down sight time um, but it does hurt your sprint to fire so uh, what i use for this one is this one gives you movement speed for some reason um, even though the bullfrog did get a movement speed buff this helps tremendously uh, when zooming across a map and helps with your movement during fights so that's why i use this one uh, and then you use the skeletal stock for obvious reasons, the uh, sprint to fire time, the ADS firing move speed, which gives you some more strafe speed. They did nerf these, um, but it is still really good to use. So I would still consider using that. Okay, so on to the second loadout. And this one, we're using a car 98 class. And honestly, we're still going to use the FFAR on this. Um, the reason why is because like you could use the LC10 uh, because it has the best range out of SMGs. But outside of that, you're not going to really be able to use it to spray from like even any amount of long range where you can still do that with an FFAR. Um, it did get a nerf, but it's still very viable and it's better than using the AS Val. Um, so for the loadout, we use the agency suppressor, the uh, task force barrel. Like I said, this one gives you strafe speed. Um, this one helps you with the vertical recoil control. So um, just because they, even though they nerfed it, it still is uh, the way you want to run it. You have the 50 round mag, not the fast mag, because this one will hurt your ADS time. And for this build specifically, I would not suggest doing that. 
Um, and then you have the Serpent Wrap, which will help with the ADS time that you lose from the Agency Suppressor. And along with the Raider Stock, uh, this one helps with your spin to fire time and your strafe speed while you are uh, shooting. Uh, this, I think, is the best FFAR loadout. Aiden is still running the FFAR as a secondary. Um, I don't think it's as good there, but as a sniper support, I still think it's a very solid, uh, very solid weapon you could be using. Now, for the sniper, we use the Car 98, the old, old tried and true. This one will never let you down. Um, so we use the monolithic, monolithic suppressor still. Uh, the Syngard's 27.6. The TAC laser to help with ADS speed. I use the sniper scope. Some people use the variable, but that's up to you. Um, this, and the stippled grip paint because this one helps with aim down sight speed. Um, the sprint to fire time is not as important because that one only helps you with like drawing your gun and shooting it like from a hip fire. It doesn't help with your actual like uh, drawing the gun and shooting. That one is your ADS speed. So. Uh, that's why I use a stipple. Okay, so for the third loadout we run, I'm running the Krig and the AK-47 as a secondary, and this is Cold War AK. Um, so for the Krig, we're running the Agency Suppressor to help give you that bullet velocity, uh, the damage range, to keep you off the map, everything like that. The Ranger Barrel is incredibly important for this, not just because I have it on the blueprint, but because it actually gives you the best bullet velocity out of all the guns. The mil spec is not as good. Um, it helps with your bullet velocity, but it doesn't give you near as much and you don't need the straight speed. And this one actually hurts your effective damage range too, which the Craig cannot afford. So you use the Ranger Barrel with the Craig. Um, you're going to run the Field Agent Foregrip to help with your vertical and horizontal recoil. The six round mag you need because this gun can hit hard, but it doesn't hit as hard as a lot of people uh, would like it to. So you do need the 60 rounds. And then lastly, I use the Axial 3X um, and I use this reticle right here. Now, if you don't want to use the 3X, you can use the SUSAT. And if you do that, what I would do is run the SUSAT and then take this off and run the Serpent Wrap. Uh, this will help kind of mitigate the aim down sight penalty that you get for the SUSAT. And honestly, since it doesn't have very much visual recoil, you can get away with not running the under barrel. It, I don't know why it works, but it does. Uh, I even tried it myself and it does kind of feel good. But honestly, I like the quicker ADS time. So I run with the 3X and the field agent grip. And that's the, that's the Craig. Um, for my secondary for the AK-47 Cold War, what I am running is the 20 inch Spent and Snaz RBK barrel. The reason why is because it gives you the bullet velocity, the damage range with 7.62 guns need, and the strafe speed. Now, it does hurt your, uh, your recoil quite a bit, but it is still manageable since they uh, nerfed the gun. If they didn't, or they buffed the gun. Since they, if they wouldn't have buffed the gun, then this, like, no one would even be touched this gun, to be honest. So it's okay to, to give up a little bit of recoil. Um, and you're going to run the Spetsnaz grip a little uh, to help alleviate a lot of that recoil that it gives you anyway. Um, so and then you're going to run, I run the 45 round mag. I don't like running anything else. I've seen some people run 60, but this one hurts your ADS time. And for an SMG, you don't want that at all. So I would not do that. Um, the Tiger Team Spotlight, this one's going to help with your movement speed. Like I said, we're running as, as an SMG. So that's why I run this one. It helps give you a lot more movement speed since ARs don't really move as fast, but Cold War ones do. So this one definitely helps you out. And then lastly, we run the Serpent Wrap. This one's going to help with your ADS time, which you need for an SMG. It does hurt your sprint to fire a little bit, um, but this gun can, honestly can't afford it. So that's why we run this one on here. And let's get into the next loadout. Okay, so for the fourth loadout, we're going to be running the Ram 7. Honestly, this gun has been seeing a lot of play re recently. Um, Tifu has been using it again, and I maybe, I don't know, maybe if that's why or because Nick Merckx has been running it. Um, but right now, I think it is the second best AR in the game. It is incredibly powerful. Um, it just has a lot of recoil, um, which is why people weren't using it before. It was just better to use the Kilo or like the Amax. The recoil control is kind of weird on this gun, but I'm telling you, mount it up or even controlling the recoil in this gun absolutely lasers. It, it shreds you so fast. Let's just, let's just go ahead and get into loadout. Okay, so you want to run the monolithic suppressor 
uh, obvious for obvious reasons. It's the same thing that you do on every single Modern Warfare gun. Then you're going to be running the FSS Ranger. This one is going to give you recoil control, which it definitely needs, the bullet velocity and the damage range. Um, this is going to allow you to shoot targets further and hit them for more damage, right? And then, you're gonna, like I said, you want to use the commando foregrip. You don't want to use this, this ranger foregrip. Don't use this. Yes, it helps with aim stability and recoil control, but use the commando foregrip. I'm telling you, it's better. You need the 50 round max. This gun blows through ammo like crazy. The fire rate is incredibly fast. Um, if you hit your shots, you will melt them incredibly quick. So you need the 50 rounds. And then lastly, you're going to run the VOK optic. And again, if you have it, you want to run this T-Pose reticle. You can see a lot better, hit your shots a lot better, and it just feels better to use. So that's the Ram 7. And for the secondary, I'm using the Modern Warfare MP5. It's kind of just, um, in my opinion, one of the best close round, or close or up-close weapons to use right now. The hit fire build is insane. Um, running both of these together, this gun, even even the Ram 7 kills really fast up close. So the way I run this is the same way that you used to run it. The monolithic integral suppressor, because this one helps with your bullet velocity and your sound suppression. Um, and it's going to, like I said, keep you off the map. Then you have the Merc foregrip. You want to use the Merc, not the operator or the ranger. Use the Merc because it helps with the hit fire accuracy. This is a hit fire build. This gun is really good up close. You need good hit fire. All right, so 45 round mags for obvious reasons. Runs through ammo quickly. The five milliwatt laser, again, obvious reasons. It's going to give you that hit fire and sprint to fire, right? And you're going to run the want to run the F tac collapsible. Now, what some people do if they're playing like squads or trios, they get rid of this F tac and they'll put on sleight of hand. This is what they were doing before uh, the integration. They were using sleight of hand, so you could do that if you want to. I opt to use the F tac collapsible just because it helps with <clears throat> helps me a lot with the movement speed and the aim down sight speed. So that is that loadout. Let's go ahead and get to the fifth one. Okay, so for the fifth loadout, we're going to be using one of my favorite guns to use right now, the Stoner 63. All right, I dropped a video recently of me using this gun and I got 24 kills. I easily could have got more kills, um, but I'm telling you right now, this gun is not cap. It is good. It kills really fast. It's one of the fastest killing guns in the game right now. And uh, it's just really good to use. So here's the loadout. Um, first you're going to be running the agency suppressor again this is kind of just standard you're running it for the same reasons um, the task force barrel task force barrel you want to use this one because it gives you your effective damage range your bullet velocity which this gun needs and the strafe speed now LMGs don't really have a lot of strafe but it does help a little bit to be able to strafe uh, you're going to be running the field agent grip to help with the recoil because this gun does have it and you have to learn how to control it um <clears throat> you're gonna be running the 3x axial of course because you're gonna be using this gun from range you could use the susat but it really hurts the ads on this lmg that already has quite a bit of time on it so i would run the 3x if i were you and then lastly i use the serpent wrap um this is kind of something that i recently started doing the stoner's reload time really isn't that bad and you can actually cancel it um like a, a second early uh, if you like sprint or do something after you see the 75 rounds get in the mag, you can just cancel it. So I don't use the 120 and I don't use the fast mag, which is the two that you would probably use. You can use it if you want to, but I really like adding this extra aim down sight time because I feel a big difference. Secondly, for my secondary, I like to run this AK-74U. That's what I was using in the video. And honestly, I felt like it, it, it kills really good right now. People use the LC-10. But forgot the AK-74U still exists. Um, this gun kills really good. It has a really good headshot multiplier. If you compare it, uh, if you compare it to the LC-10, it blows it out of the water in headshots. Um, and even in uh, TTK, it has a faster TTK than the LC-10. The LC-10 just has a little bit more range, right? Um, so for the loadout, we run the Gru Suppressor again, very standard. The Task Force Barrel, you want to get that strafe speed and the bullet velocity and the effective damage range. SMGs need all of that. Um, I don't use a grip that you would normally use. I use the bruiser grip. It helps with your hit fire accuracy and your movement speed. Honestly, this didn't feel like it was hurting me at all. My um, The recoil on the AK-74 u is like pretty much non-existent. Um, so I use the bruiser grip instead of the Spetsnaz grip. You could use the Spetsnaz if you want to, if you're having trouble controlling the recoil. Um, but I don't have that problem, so I just use the bruiser grip. I use the 50-round fast mag. 
yes, this does hurt your aim down sight time just a little bit, but because I'm running it with a stoner that has no ability to be used up close, I have to be able to constantly have ammo in my gun. Um, so I use the fast mag. Lastly, I use the KGB skeletal stock to help with sprint to fire time. Um, obviously your aim, uh, your aim firing move speed, your strafe speed, all of that helps. And if this is the AK-74 U class I was running in the video, it is really strong. I really suggest you that you guys try it out. It's, it's pretty good right now, to be honest. It's really slept on. And uh, let's get into the last loadout. Okay, so for the last loadout, what I use is honestly, it's kind of just like a very friendly loadout. I'm using the Graw and the Gallo shotgun. Um, the Graw is really good right now. Honestly, it's not like insane. It's just, just good. You know, it's not bad at all. Um, so right now you, I'm running it on, on this one. When I run my Gallo, I use it as the, uh, I guess the iron sight build with the monolithic suppressor, the Tempest barrel and the tack laser. Um, when I run it with a shotgun, I like to be able to use this gun at all ranges. So that's kind of why I use this. Um, the, the, the okay optic hurts really bad up close so that's kind of why i'm running this barrel but you can use the vlk optic with this build too you just have to play your fights differently then i run the commando foregrip for obvious reasons in the 60 round mag uh you need it with this gun because it does not kill as fast as the other guns and you need all the ammo you can use but it is very laser accurate all right and for the last and final gun on the video we're going to be using the gallo shotgun like i said uh, the Gallo is really good right now. It's, in my opinion, I like it more than the Street Sweeper uh, because I feel like it has more range and it's more versatile. But the Street Sweeper is also still very powerful even after the nerf. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this gun. So clearly you need to use the Agency Choke. This one helps with a lot of things. The sound suppression, the vertical recoil control, which you don't really need. Um, the bullet velocity and the effective damage range. That one you do need right then you're going to be using the reinforced heavy this one helps with your effective damage range and your fire rate also still very good things that the shotgun needs i use a tiger team spotlight to help with my movement speed still just because it's a shotgun and i need to be able to move around very effectively during fights then we use the 12 round mag this one does hurt your aim down sight time and you can kind of notice it but it's still very useful to use you need it in anything above duos and lastly, you want to use the marathon stock. Now, this one's going to help you with your sprint to fire time, your strafe speed while you're shooting, and your aim walking speed. Um, yeah, this is definitely the best stock to use. You can get away with using the SAS combo combat stock, which you really will be zooming if you do that. Um, but I think the marathon marathon stock is better. Anyway, that concludes the six loadouts that I think are one of the best to be using right now. Again. In this matter, you can use a lot of different loadouts, but I think, in my opinion, these are some of the most effective loadouts you could be using right now. And if you found any of this information helpful, please go ahead and leave a like on this video. It would help me out so much. And again, if you want to see more content like this, and even if you just enjoyed the content, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. Again, I appreciate all of you guys and you guys all have a great day.